Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 261. NASDAQ was up 180. S&P's up 44. Percentage-wise out here, folks, what you have is you have the Dow Industrials uh, were up 7 tenths of a percent. S&P's up 8 tenths. And the, and the, X, uh, no, the NASDAQ composite up 1.1. Gold caught a bid up $17.10, $18.05 an ounce. We had silver up 29 cents, $22.79 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck eighty. $72.91 a barrel notes and bonds. The 10-year note up six ticks, trading 130.24. 30-year up 20 at 161.13 and King Dollar. King Dollar down 460 ticks, trading out at 96.03. Euro 113, the yen, 17, yen 114, the British pound 133.61. But you know, when we take a look at the S&P, folks, what you're going to have here, the S&P wants to go for its highs, okay? Uh, we're already into the low of the high. You're up $4.64. You had a monster contraction of volume again. We're going to be up here with low, no volume. I expect you to get a rejection of lower price, but a higher price. We'll see where it shakes out. What we have done, the low of the high is 467.35. The We closed at 467.70. That says, guess what, man? You are going right after that high. Um, tomorrow is going to be a light day, no doubt about that. Um, we'll see what they shake out next week, but it looks to me like we're going after these highs. NDX 100. Now, the NDX is weaker than the, the S&P. That being said, the bottom line, you're up 474. You're trading at 393.95 and 400 gain. Uh, the, the differential inside the NDX 100 is, is quite a bit. Uh, the contraction of volume, also huge. Yesterday we did uh, 48 million, did 34 today. And what I expect you're gonna see, and this is, uh, this is so cool if you've never seen it before, folks, okay? You'll see how they can push the market with no buyers. That's the bottom line. And the way they do that, you, know, you push it in the futures market first, then simultaneously, you'll see the futures get hit and the equities get hit. And when they always do it, you hit the NDX 100, you hit the S&P simultaneously. And by that, normally when that happens, they have are, what they've already done is this. They've already laid their bets on the SPY and on the Qs. So they pull the trigger on the futures. As they pull the trigger in the futures, they have to buy. They have to sell in the futures here. Everyone chases it, but what they get they get in at the right price and they goose it. It's a beautiful thing. Wow! Have a great night. Have a safe night, folks. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Nine o'clock. Great show.